So I forgot I had this demo. I should should uh, use this demo in my videos to show you what's going on. We essentially have a Taurus down here. I'll give you the information how to build a Taurus. And we have a teapot and we have a plane. And then this right here represents the light. Generally, we don't render a light, but I wanted a light rendered into the scene so I could see where my light bulb was at. Right now, the only other light I have turned on is diffuse. We already talked about ambient in the last video. And in the last video, I introduced the three types of lighting there are. There's ambient. We did that in the last video. It's pretty straightforward and easy. There's diffuse. And then there is specular. Okay, in this video, I want to talk about diffuse lighting. I've turned off all lighting in this scene except diffuse. I could turn on ambient lighting. That's a lot of red in the scene, a lot of green in the scene, a lot of blue in the scene. I've blasted the scene with way too much ambient light. Let's take that down. Now I've turned off all ambient light. You can see I can add some ambient light though. That's 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That's red, green, blue, 0 0.1. So that just makes the scene a little brighter, but I'll take that ambient light away. And that leaves diffuse lighting. Diffuse lighting is simply when light hits a diffuse surface and bounces around. Pretty much every surface around you is diffuse-ish unless it has some reflection. If you Look around the room you're in, you probably can see some reflections off some shiny things in the room. But for the most part, the table you're sitting at is nice and matte, and, and maybe your clothes, they're matte. They, they just have this diffuse way about them, meaning light hits them, light mixes up inside of the surface, and then light just gets blasted away from that surface from all directions. In fact, let me see if I can illustrate this. Here is a surface. Looking at the surface from the side, a light beam comes in and hits this surface. The light interacts with the surface. Some gets captured and absorbed, but then a, some of this light will escape the surface and it is diffused. It is spread around in all directions. And that's what we call diffused light. It doesn't create a nice shiny surface, but it does create a, a, a lit part of the scene. You can imagine this. Oh, let me get my scene back. This is my light. And if I put a light bulb right here in the scene, then directly below the light is going to be nice and lit. Down here, you can see this area is nice and lit. But the further away we get out from the light, the less direct the light is hitting that part of the scene. And so it's not as lit. Right, same thing with this teapot. This light bulb right here, as the light hits the teapot, we're going to see a lot of diffused light being blasted away off the side of the teapot. Eventually some of that will hit our eye and so that makes that side of the teapot nice and lit. Whereas back here the light cannot hit that side of the teapot because this surface is facing away from the teapot. Now it makes you wonder well, why is that lit? Why is that lit? Well we're not doing shadows. Shadows are another topic a little more complex than what we're doing. We're just trying to light this scene. We'll fix this up with shadows. But let me let me move this light around. Let's see my light position. I can Move around, and you see as I move my light around the scene, the lighting changes in the scene. In fact, I can even change my light bulb color. Here, I'll, I'll change it to all red. How about that? We have a nice red light bulb. This light bulb right here, even though it's this nice colorful cube, that cube should hopefully look familiar. It's a nice red light bulb, and I can move that light bulb around in the scene. And you can see the, the more direct the light hits whatever surface, the more that surface is lit. For example, the light is right now above my donut or my torus, and so the top of the torus is nice, well, and lit. This side of the teapot is nice, well, and lit, and the plane down here is nice, well, and lit. But then out here or over here where these surfaces uh, are not directly facing the light, actually, I believe this surface is messed up. We'll see that in a minute. But where the surface is not directly facing the light, the light cannot hit that, bounce around, and then eventually enter our aria our eyes. I'm trying to draw some arrows hitting your eye, but it's hard for me to get my thing to come out of the screen and hit you in the face. So that's diffuse lighting. We want to do diffuse lighting in, in our code, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.